In this lesson, you will learn about multiplying fractions. So here we have the problem, 4 fifths times 2 thirds. When you multiply fractions, you do not have to worry about common denominators, which makes multiplying a little bit easier, in my opinion. We simply multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. So 4 times 2 is 8. 5 times 3 is 15. Then we check to see if we can simplify. Is there a number that will divide 8 and 15 evenly? There is not, so the answer is simply 8 fifteenths. Okay. Here's another problem. 3 ninths times 6 fifteenths. Again, don't worry about common denominators. Simply multiply the numerators. 3 times 6 is 18. 9 times 15. If we do 9 times 15, we get 135. Now we have to see if we can reduce this or simplify it. Um, I know that 3 will divide here. If I add these numbers up, eight, uh, 5 plus 3 is 8 plus one more is 9. So 9 divides by 3 using our rules of divisibility. So I'm going to divide by 3 over 3. And 18 divided by 3 is 6. 135 divided by 3 is 45. And again, we check, is there a number that will divide both 6 and 45? And I know that it will again divide by 3 over 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 45 divided by 3 is 15. Um, 15 is not even, so it will not simplify any further. So we get 2 fifteenths. Now when we do it this way, we get these kind of large numbers. And this is fine. This is the right answer. There's another way we can do it. We can take that same problem, 3 six time, three ninths times 6 fifteenths, and do what we call cross-canceling. So we can look at numbers that are across from each other. Is there a number that will divide 6 and 9? There is. 3 will divide 6 and 9. So I'm going to divide both of these numbers by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then I look at these numbers. Is there a number that will divide 3 and 15 evenly? Yes, 3. So I divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now I have 1 third times 2 fifths. And now I multiply the numerators. 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. And I get the same answer of 2 fifteenths by doing cross, um, cross canceling first. And I also get 2 fifteenths if I multiply and then simplify. So in this case, I've simplified basically before I multiplied, and this time I simplified after I multiplied. Either way, you get the same answer. That's the end of our lesson on multiplying fractions.